Do you want to use Google Plus events to alert the public about your Hangout on Air event? Well, that's what we'll cover in this video, so stay tuned to see how. These events offered by Google Plus are a fantastic way to gather people together online. Our goal here is to set up a Google Plus event so that we can alert the public about a future Hangout on Air event, ultimately so that the public can easily know where and when to go watch it. Oh, and just to give you a heads up, there's going to be an extra special tip near the end of the video, so you're going to want to watch the whole thing. It is possible to point somebody to your website where you've embedded the YouTube URL so they can watch it live. But I'm wanting this time to just use Google Plus and YouTube to provide the watch location to the general public. I also want to utilize the power of Google Plus events to 1. Announce the existence of the Hangout on Air and 2. Send a reminder alert to those who have expressed an interest to watch. And, by the way, people can search for public events, so just another reason why you want to do this publicly. At this point in time, the event tool is still very new, so what I'll be doing is showing you the best that I could figure out in how to use it. So, I'll probably add annotation notes at certain points in the video, just in case there's any changes that I need to tell you about as my understanding of how to best use the tool evolves. Oh, and as an extra note, if you're watching the video inside YouTube, I'll provide a clickable table of contents there, so you can quickly jump to certain steps in the video for easy review at the proper time. So, here we go! The process has three main steps. These, by the way, are clickable if you're watching on YouTube. Step 1. Post an event to the public circle. To help people understand what it is, make sure it's a Hangout type event. You'll also want to include some targeted circles in your address area so that they can receive notifications. Second, just before showtime, like maybe 15 minutes ahead of time, what we call green room time, go ahead and set up a normal Hangout on Air and copy the YouTube URL that you're given to share. The third and final step is to go back and edit the original event that you created and paste in the URL that you just gathered from the Hangout on Air. Put this into the website field and do it ahead of time so that when the event starts, people will be sent an alert and that alert will include the proper URL for them to click on to go and watch the Hangout. Alright, so let's take a look at the visuals involved in doing these three steps. Here we go. You're going to start by getting to the events page, either by clicking on events in the ribbon on the left or inside your stream, click on the calendar icon. Once you get to this page, click on the upper right red button that says create event. So once you've got your event fields open, go ahead and fill in all the appropriate fields. Um, what we've got highlighted here is a suggestion that since we're going to later on be adding in a URL link, we can tell people right up front that later they can come back and see this event and it will be updated with the official website link to go watch it. Make sure this is a Hangout event and um, if you're not sure how to find all of these fields, go ahead and click that button there and go and watch our intro video on how to open it up to see all the additional fields. Now you'll notice on the bottom we've invited the public and a specific targeted circle or you could invite individuals as well. The prior step you should do early enough so people can plan to watch your show. This next step happens just before the show goes live. You create a Hangout on Air and copy the YouTube URL that you get when you click on the embed link. Do this during your green room time. Don't hit that start broadcast button yet. Here comes the third step. Now take that URL that you copied and go in and edit your initial event, the public one. And then where it says website URL, go ahead and paste in the YouTube URL. Now if you didn't in your description text tell people that that was going to be the link they could click on to watch the Hangout on Air, you might want to add that text now. Do this before the show goes live so that when the alert happens, that everyone will automatically have the link that they need to click. When showtime comes, the people that said they're going will automatically receive an alert, and when they click on it to open it up, it will bring them right to this event page. So there's what it looks like. I've highlighted in yellow the official website link. So there it is. All they got to do is click on it, and they can start watching your Hangout on Air. And if they didn't receive an alert because they didn't say they were going, they still can go into the event area and click on that link. So when it's time to start the show, all you need to do is click the red Start Broadcast button and you are live. Many more people will know about your show and know just where to click to watch it because you use the power of Google Plus events to let the world know. 
So if you want more help understanding the power of Google Plus events and how to use Hangouts to your best advantage, add me, Ronnie Bincer, to your circles. Feel free to contact me on Google Plus so that we can discuss what services I offer that may be useful for you online. Okay, so here's the extra tip, the one you get for watching to the very end. Okay, so you're going to want to be careful on how long your event title is, because as you can see here, if it's longer than, say, 70 characters, it's going to get chopped off. Now, it's not catastrophic, as you can see here. You still see it when it wraps if you've opened up the event, but if you're back here before you've actually opened it, you might not be able to get somebody interested enough if they can't read all of the title. If you like this, please plus one, thumbs up, and add a comment somewhere. Then share it. Make sure you got me in your circles, and let's talk.